everybody today. It is a nice Sunday here in Kansas. A little chilly, but I can't complain. My name is Bree. I'm the owner and artist of Upcycled by Bree. And today I have a huge, huge haul. So y'all know I'm normally sitting behind this table. Well, I would have trapped myself in with all of this great junk. So today we're going to stand up, do things just a little bit differently. Now, everything you see and all the stuff you can't see yet under the table is already loaded up on my site, upcycledbybree.com. I have it dropped down in the description box below first thing and on live chat. If you're catching the replay, you should be able to uh, click that little live chat button right below me and watch the live chat as well. Now, if you see something you like, if you're, if you're cruising the website, make sure you grab it fast because things go quickly. Um, if you order more than one thing, I'll combine orders down as much as I can and refund shipping. So now that I've got all of that out of the way, I've got friends on saying good morning. I've got comments right here. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm doing. Hey, hey, Rachel's here and Kim, Melissa, Crafting It Up and Creations, Janet from Virginia. Hello. So I think a lot of people have probably hopped over to the website and they're shopping. We're going to go ahead and get started looking at stuff, um, but you can always go back and watch these first few minutes if you want to go shop. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's what happened. The title of this haul is Over 100 Item Thrift Haul or whatever, Estate Cleanup. I went shopping twice last week. Um, and we actually, I guess we we went three places. I forgot about one place, but we went three places, two thrift stores and more of like an antique mall. So that's what I have here on the table in front of me. And then on Monday, my great friend Jessica messaged me and she's like, hey, the girls need your help doing the estate clean out. They have a company where they do the estate sales. And then at the end, I get to go in and pick through what's left and take only what I want. And it's free. Like, is that not amazing? Like supporting a small business. It's insane. So I got some really great junk yet again, a whole van full. I did a live of that over on Facebook. Um, and that was fun. So if you haven't seen that, you can watch it over there. We're going to start with a thrift store called Nappy's Place. It's here in Topeka. I don't go super often, but it's a really fun store with a fun owner and he had some good junk. So let's check it out. Hey, Miss Sarah's here. Teresa's here. Vicky is here. Good morning, everyone. He had some really unique stuff. He also sells things like uh, guitars and does like baseball cards. Not the stuff I'm interested in, but he's got knickknacks as well. Let's start with my favorite thing. Not break it. I had to research this and I waited till I left the store. Um, this is definitely vintage. It is a Real Roses Bowl O Beauty glass flower display. So I, you know, used my good little Google lens and looked this up. It's got the beautiful brass base with it as well. And originally when these were sold, they had roses inside of them, hence the, the name of them. <laughs> but I could not pass this up. You could use this for so many different things. Of course, you could put flowers in it still or make an adorable like snow globe effect for Christmas. Um, on eBay, they were going for quite a bit. I have mine listed up at $59.95. Um, I averaged out my items from this thrift store. I had like 26 items at $75. So averaged out at $3 a piece because nothing was marked. <laughs> so we'll say I paid $3 for it. It's listed at $59.95. Now, if you're new here and you're wondering why I'm telling you prices, a lot of the people that watch me are also resellers. And this kind of helps us all learn the market and what things are worth. Um, so if that's weird to you, that's just what I do. Hello, Lorraine. All right. He had some amazing old bottles. Y'all know me and the old bottles. I didn't keep them all. I kept three because I have a ton. I lotted these four together. <laughs> They've got really cool, a couple of them, some really cool advertising, cool lids. That one is a prescription. And it's from Kansas, Topeka, Kansas, the Owl Drug Store, number one. That's no longer here. <laughs> and look at the rust on that one. So this lot of four is $26.95. I like to put things together in lots for y'all sometimes. Just, it makes it a little easier for me to list things, but then it gives you an idea too of how to put things together. 
I snagged these tarnished salt and pepper shakers. They've got great patina, great for a Christmas display, but of course you can use these all year round, decor use only. <laughs> and these are $12.95. Again, paid an average of $3 for all of this. I didn't find a lot of things um, at these two places necessarily to redo. Some of the free things I found were more like DIY projects. These two bottles, these are listed individually at $12.95 each. And I just, I cannot get over the advertising. Usually when I'm finding these old amber bottles, they are just naked. <laughs> so drop me a comment, let me know how your Black Friday and Small Saturday went. Did y'all spend all your money already? <laughs> I was worried about that going live today. Like they're probably all broke, it's okay. Um, did you find some really great deals or is that like not your thing? I don't really, I don't really do the Black Friday shopping. Okay, a couple of brass critters. Now, this guy has got a lot of compliments, a lot of interest, so I wouldn't be surprised if maybe he's gone already. Uh, $16.95 on the brass turtle. I have never, ever, ever seen a brass turtle in my life. So that was a first. And then $14.95 on this swan, and look at the patina on that bad boy. It's got all kinds of good tarnish on it. So y'all know I love the critters and especially the brass ones. Y'all are quiet this morning. Let me know if it, um, if my picture is lagging, if I get items really close. That happens sometimes. <laughs> Teresa bought a Peloton and a puppy. She's definitely broke. Well, Teresa, don't go look at the site then. Just watch. <laughs> Kim did some uh, small business Saturday shopping. That a girl. And Teresa, I love the Peloton app. I don't have a Peloton, but I use the app at Crunch when I'm doing the spin bikes there. So it's fun. Robin is my favorite instructor. These little quail were also popular. A little terracotta quail. Say that 10 times fast. And I have them up at $10.95. Um, I've seen brass ones many times, but not terracotta. So those were adorable. And y'all, this haul probably will take longer than an hour. So if y'all can't stay the whole time, I understand. No worries. Oh, sorry to hear that, Brandy. Goodness. Sheep, little baby lamb. I think it's a lamb. It's got floppy ears. And look at her pretty little eyelashes. <laughs> $8.95 on her. And I've got also this terracotta owl at $8.95. Can't pass up the critters. So we were shopping there and I was like, Stephen, can I start a pile somewhere? And he had like a little space on his counter about this big and I laughed. I was like, okay, we'll start with that. Um, but my pile grew pretty big. Oh, this, this jar made me smile again. Look at the butterfly on that. Usually when I see this kind of vintage art, um, with the like real natural seeds and I think that's a feather butterfly usually they're falling apart by now but that one's still in really really good shape and the jar is really pretty with the details on it it's $12.95 Brandy said something's cute cute's the word of the day cute and amazing <laughs> grab this little brass cup it's really thick and I thought it would make a cute pencil cup um you could probably stick a little plant in it who knows, right? $8.95 on the little brass cup. And sometimes when I am purchasing things like these, if they've sat on my website for a while or if they were sitting in my booth for too long, I will pull them out and I will, um, or I'll take some floral with me and put them in and restage them, take new pictures. And sometimes just having the greenery in it makes a world of a difference. So that's a little tip for you. Um, this funnel was actually from my free, free salvage pile. It doesn't have a sticker on it, but it's up there. I thought it would make a fun Christmas uh, tree base, and I didn't have a tree big enough, so I listed it. It's probably like a buck ninety-five. 
Okay, so I also got this apothecary jar and I get these every once in a while. Sometimes I can find more than one at once, but sometimes I wait to list them until I have multiples just to do them as a, as a lot. But since I found also vintage marbles, I decided I would go ahead and list it up. I paid $6 since there's two things here. They averaged out at three and it's listed at $22.95. These are a little tricky to ship but I can do it. And I just love the way these jars look full of like thread spools, marbles, old keys, and then grouping them together in a vignette or at Christmas time, putting candy in them is always a lot of fun too. I mean, all year round candy is fun, in them. but the Christmas colors are particularly pretty. So I grabbed this little wagon. Last time I shopped um, Nappy's Place, I grabbed a wagon that was a little bit bigger. It was pink. <laughs> so uh, I thought of that. It was funny. This one's $14.95 up on my site, and I really like these at Christmas time. They look so cute around the bottom of the tree, and you can put some poinsettias in them, um, or obviously you could stage them up with, you know, any like Christmas, like fake presents or real presents, toys, but they're just cute around Christmas time. I don't usually pick up a lot of red items because I don't decorate with a lot of red, but I do enjoy around the holidays picking up red things. All right, I grabbed these books. He had a lot of books. Um, I grabbed the four that were in the worst shape <laughs> and held them all together. I like to kind of group them and sell them in lots. It seems to, to do better for me. And if it's in my booth, I just tie some jute string around them. Um, and on my website, I just make sure I keep them together for my inventory. But look at the beautiful old pages on this. And then if you wanted to go this way as well, the spines are really, really cool and decrepit. And there's like a school theme here. We have the New Business Speller, the Easy Road to Reading. Can you all see that? Uh, the Abridged Academy a Songbook, and a Grammar School Reader Book, too. So, cute little set. Uh, I don't have a price on these. Sorry. I try to put stickers on everything when I'm taking pictures, and sometimes I forget. See if I can find them. So, yeah, no Black Friday shopping for me. I did do a little small business Saturday shopping. I went and supported my local coffee shop that I love, and they had vendors set up, and I bought this really cool leather, like, trinket tray from him. I loved that. And I asked him, I was like, how do you cut your leather? And he said he does it all by hand. It's like, oof, no, no cricket, no machine. <laughs> okay, well, I can't find those books, but they're there if you want them. <laughs> Okay, last two things from that store. Have this vintage ammo box, which I just love decorating with. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Brandy. Also, when he said cutting the leather by hand, I was like, man, makes my wrist tired thinking about it. And it opens up, I'm trying not to be too loud. It opens up, these are really nice to keep um, things like salvage metal parts or old hardware if you are a DIYer like me or you could keep memorabilia or something and then setting them up on a shelf kind of hides any of those um, unwanted items items you don't want to see Connie asked how I would use it so I would usually store things in it um, like supplies I've got a couple of metal boxes out in the garage that I keep my scrap metal for DIYing in that way it doesn't poke anybody or cut anybody and that way it's covered. Also, I would just set this up on like my fireplace mantle, say maybe fall since it's dark green, um, and decorate around it. But I just love this industrial look. <laughs> so I would use it like a riser, put a few things on top, use it to build some um, height in a vignette, or put it in a man cave. It says I'm making it my own DIYs. Yeah, the, the man... The man cave items are usually pretty popular. So I grabbed this one as well. This one's heavy. <laughs> Very heavy. And when we opened it up, there was a little hand tool in it that I kept and hung from my new shelves in the kitchen. 
It was originally very silver and now it is very rusty. But it opens. It's not rusted shut. It's got some really good um, handles on it as well. This one is $22.95. And the smaller one is $24.95. That's one store down. <laughs> oh. Okay, so the second place we went next, I forgot, we stopped by the Topeka Vendors Market and it's like an antique um, vendor booth type of place. I didn't get a lot there because prices are a little bit higher, but I did get a few things. Uh, for $5, I picked this up. It is a beautiful brass candle sniffer um, with the twisted handle. This one does not hinge. So keep that in mind. It would not go down into a jar, um, but it would work for other candles, like taper candles. And then also I would just use it for display. <laughs> I paid $5 on that one and these are up at $12.95. I have two other ones. I found one last week. And this one I love because it's short and these are $12.95 each. This one is a B and C. Making it my own DIY said she'd make a floral arrangement out of the box. That would be gorgeous in the springtime. So I really liked those. I thought it was fun. I had never found them before. I thought it was fun that I found three so close together. Hey, Marty, thank you. She said the green book stack is $16.95. Marty, did you have fun? She got to go do some fun stuff. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to spill your personal business, but <laughs> I hope you had a good time. Looks like you made it safely. Bobbins. I always called these spools before and I did a little research. They are bobbins. Oh, Crafting It Up Creation said she bought stuff doing her part to support. Thank you so much. She said she also loves doing the treasure hunting herself. I get that. I obviously do the hunting and the reselling. I love this, um, but I've got a few creators and resellers that I follow very closely and love to support them. Because sometimes, you know, certain people find stuff that other people just can't find in their area. Oh, good, Marty. I'm glad you had fun. Send me a message later. I want to hear all about it. Pretty please. Okay, so on these bobbins, um, do do do. Looks like this is bobbin A. There's two available. They are $7.95 each. Great wood and metal. These would be really cute in a little crock or mason jar to add height. You would probably, ooh, you could probably do like icicles. I would, I wouldn't paint them though. <laughs> How would you, would you DIY these? What would you do with them? This is bobbin B. There's only one of it and it's $8.95. Thank you, Marty. Please send me a picture, I'd love that. And it's got some really pretty yellow chippy paint on it. And then these are Bob and C, sold individually. I think they're $10.95. And they're a little bit darker wood. Now these were $4 each, so I paid up on these a little bit, but I went ahead and grabbed them. Um, I'm not gonna make a huge profit margin on them, but that's okay with me because I don't find a lot of the bobbins, I find a lot of the spools. So I wanted to grab some while I could. Yeah, I like the way, I like them the way they are too, Shelly. I, I wouldn't paint them. <laughs> okay. Stuff all over my shirt already. Now, another thing, let me get these out of the way. I actually thrifted these bell cloche a couple uh, weeks ago and showed them and said that I would make uh, uh, wooden rounds for them. Not brass, that's wood. And then I also used some star bond and did the little porcelain knobs on top. Now these are sold individually at $24.95. One of them is already gone for sure. Um, I don't know about the other one. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Talking for an hour is very hard. And this is the last thing I grabbed at the, oh, y'all can see my mess under the table. <laughs> That's okay. The picture that you, that I can see on my phone versus the picture that y'all actually see on the screen is totally different. 
Um, anyways, squirrel. I found this for $10 at the antique store and it is one of the glass washboards. So it is listed at $32.95. I'm going to have to be very, very careful when shipping it, but I don't ever find the glass ones. So I grabbed it. I've got a couple wooden ones already loaded up. So if you're wanting to make a collage in your laundry room, the wooden ones are a little bit smaller. You could do this one in the middle and like a wood one on each side. Be super cute wall display. Yeah, Joni said she loves that bell shape. So I'm thinking on um, these bell cloches. Oh my gosh, can you guys see my socks and sandals? <laughs> Busted, maybe. I was thinking on these bell cloches, they were probably candle cups of some sort, like votive, votive holders. But I just turned them upside down. So whenever you're in the glass section at the thrift store, make sure that you all are checking out the different shapes. Okay, so that was one thrift store and the antique mall. Shelly said that's a great uh, price for the cloche. Thank you. Yes, I was actually at the antique mall and there were some cloches there about this big that were like $50. But that is technically not a cloche. It is an upcycled find. So <laughs> maybe I should have upped the price a little. Maybe that's why one already sold. Okay, so we did a thrift store. We did the antique mall. Now this one is a uh, major thrift and it's over here kind of closer to me on Sundays they're 30% off so we went here on Sunday love this pig totally cottage and vintage it's got the little bird on it and it's a sweet little eyeball <laughs> Very cute. It's got a hanger on the back and it was made in Trenton, Missouri. So I paid about $4.80 after the discount. It is up at $19.95. Super cute to add to your cutting board display. These, I went back and forth. I went ahead and got them because they're in really good shape. They were $3 each. Um, I paid about $5 for the set after all was said and done. Ooh, that pig would be cute for a charcuterie. I don't know what kind of paint is on it. Um, so do that at your own risk, but it would be cute. <laughs> so paid $5 for the set and they are up at $19.95. I looked them up. I don't, I couldn't find like a brand name, but I found it, a lot of sets up on eBay. The paint's in really good shape. They were dusty, so I cleaned them up real good. And I know I've got some owl lovers. I couldn't leave those two behind. All right, first time ever finding one of these. Do y'all know what this is? I thought I was, I was like 95% sure, but I couldn't actually see the stamp on it. So I was like, ah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's something different. And then once I got home, I actually figured out that it's a bird stamp. <laughs> Lorraine said the mommy pig is one of her favorites. I know. I love her. She's sweet. In fact, I, if she doesn't sell, I'll probably just keep her. <laughs> She'd look good up on my shelves. Anyway, so once I started looking, I figured out it's a bird stamp. And this is for butter, like a butter stamp or a food stamp. Never found one before. Finally found one. I was excited. I don't think they knew what they had when they marked it. I only paid $3.80 and it's listed up at $18.95. This is a big one. This would look great in your kitchen decor. Ooh, Marty says she thinks a crazy lamp lady would love the owls, and I think you are right. And I bet she has probably thrifted some herself before. <laughs> I think they're I think they're kind of common. I found a lot of listings for them, um, but they were just too cute to pass up. And the colors are great. 89 cents are what rolling pins cost me on Sundays at Major Thrift. Yahoo! I never find them, but I found one this week. I will paint the handles on this something very pretty. And rolling pins are $12.95 up on my site. I've been hearing back and forth um, that some people can sell the rolling pins in their area and some people cannot. Do rolling pins sell for you? Let me know. Mine have been going off my website, but locally not so much. And I can't, I'm having a hard time finding some really cool antique ones. Um, when I went junking from Branson back to Topeka, 
there were some really amazing rolling pins that I passed up on that I'm kind of like kicking myself. But technically that's only like a two hour, maybe three hour drive for me. So I'm gonna go back soon when it's cold and I wanna shop inside, but like not icy because I don't wanna drive in that. Picked up one basket this week from the store. They always have a ton of baskets. I've been trying to be a little particular, but this one was really too great to pass up. It's super sturdy. Um, and I thought it would make a great planter basket or put a Christmas tree in it. It's clean. I don't think it was ever used for anything. Um, and it's at $16.95. I paid $4 on it. So I paid up a little bit, but for like how <laughs> sturdy it is, it was worth it. I have never found a pink bunt pan before, ever. So I snacked this up. I know it is only December, or it's not even, <laughs> it's not even December, but I'm done with Christmas, y'all. I'm done. My house is decorated. I'm getting my, my home tour up Tuesday. Um, my booth is closed down officially at the end of Tuesday, and I have made a ton of Christmas DIYs, so I'm done. So it was not Carmex. It was Burt's Bees, Lorraine. I'm done with Christmas. I'm thinking already about January. So New Year's, um, kind of new me organization stuff. And then February's next, so pink. So I, I grabbed it and because I've never seen one before. Um, bunt pans are $12.95 up on my site and I think I paid $3 for this one. Oh, there it is, $4. So a little, I usually only pay like two and sometimes I used to be able to find them for one, but because it's great vintage pink, $12.95. If y'all want to know why I made a stink about my Burt's Bees, I used to use Carmex like religiously and I've heard that it's really not very good for you. Like it makes your lips worse. So I switched to Burt's Bees. Shelly says, I find a lot of things that she just can't find in her area. Shelly, where are you from? And thank you. Cute little toothpick holder. I paid $1.99. It's up at $8.95 from the Victor Goldman Incorporated. It's a little handmade and it's got a rooster. So toothpicks go down in there. You open it up to take one. Um, it doesn't look very sanitary. I wouldn't put that toothpick in my mouth, but how cute would this be with like a little piece of floral in it? <laughs> Just hanging on the wall here. I wonder if it used to have a cover. I don't know. There we go. See? Anything can be decor if you put a plant in it. <laughs> and it has a rooster. I have rooster lovers. Okay, this bird cage is up at $22.95. I paid $4.80 for it after the discount. Um, and I'm going to fix it up. So I think it's listed like to be repaired, to be refreshed, something like that. If it does not sell before I refresh it, and then I'll take pictures and um, refresh my pictures on the website. But y'all usually do pretty good at just taking my word for it. It is, it has one little break right here. So this is the door that goes up and down. So it does have that one little break. But I'm going to take all of this old floral off. There's some hot glue. And what I'll do is I'll take my heat gun, warm that hot glue up just a little bit, a little bit, and then take like a an ice pick or something like that and poke at the glue and I can get all that glue to come off. And then once the glue's off, I'll take my canned air or my air compressor and spray out all the dust. That way I don't risk breaking this really fragile little wood. So if you pass on things because they're dirty, don't. <laughs> things can be cleaned really easily. It's got this really pretty little finial top and that metal hook. So could not pass that up for 480. Do we have any questions so far? If anybody needs me to drop specific links for anything, excuse me, or you can't find anything, let me know. Okay, these iron stands, I paid $4.80 each and they are up at $19.95. Super heavy duty. I wanna say cast iron. <laughs> I don't do a lot of candle stands, but I thought these would make some fun risers. Um, even just setting a piece of wood on these 
and elevating your decor in a booth setting or a home vignette. They'd be obviously they'd be gorgeous with candles on them too. I just don't do I don't use a lot of pillar candles. Love those stands. Didn't see those. Okay, I see they're popular. That's yeah, I definitely definitely couldn't pass them up. They'd be really pretty up on a mantle. Two of them side to side. All right, goodbye, goodbye. I'll pat myself on the shoulder. <laughs> Let me double check and make sure real quick and take a breath here. Make sure they're up. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I ate a ton of cheese. <laughs> it was amazing. Everybody ready to go decorate for Christmas or have you already done that? I think most of you already have, but I know some people don't until after Thanksgiving. I respect that. I used to be one of those people Okay, so they are up. They're vintage cast iron candle stand sold individually, if you want to search for them. There's a lot of great things. It's hard, it's hard to see it all and process it all at once. So like I said, if you make multiple orders, I can combine shipping usually. Um, Marty, have I showed the angel plaque? I have not. Are you talking about the little tiny one? Uh, right, yeah. This one? This was actually up in my house forever, Marty, and I have so many guardian angels. I figured I'd pass this one on. She's really pretty. $9.95. Um, I thrifted this ages ago. Okay, I snuck a few things into this haul today that were like mine, but I literally listed 100 items. <laughs> the 100 plus items, including all of that stuff. So I didn't cheat. It wasn't clickbait. Anyways, this was mine. I thrifted it a long time ago, and it was like this, it's like fake wood. Um, but I painted it with creamy milk paint by Sweet Pickens. It does have a tiny little break back here, but you cannot tell from the front. $9.95 on them. Super cute. Okay. She's sold. Okay. Sold. Thank you, Marty. <laughs> At this thrift store, I purchased a candelabra, and as much as I wish I could re record every single project I do, like, I just don't have time for everything. So, I took the candelabra apart. It had a wooden round base and the cute little metal salvage pieces. This was part of it, and then it had metal coming out, and these are the candle cups. Right? So, picture that, right? Candelabra. Well, I was at the thrift store and I just kind of wiggled it like this to see. And of course it all just unscrewed instantly. Um, I only paid $4 for the candelabra and I took it apart. Most of it's sold already. I sold a couple of the pieces just as salvage. So y'all could use them however you wanted. And then I turned these three into a set of mini trees. These are sold already too, but I wanted to show you the idea. Um, and this tree was a $5 tree from Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. So, wood candelabras. He dropped a pine cone. <laughs> I'll glue him back on there. I think, uh, I can't remember who bought it. <laughs> I'll glue him back on. Anyways, um, and these wood candelabras are amazing for DIY projects. There's a hair on that too. There we go. Good, good crafting idea. But like I said, I have made so many trees, y'all. I am done. When I went live, this piece was still available. This would make a great candle stick, and it is $8.95. But y'all can use it however you want. I can't wait till it warms up. I know we've got a while, because I am ready to get some citrus strip out and strip down some of my salvage wood to like that beautiful raw wood look like these. I found these for $1.99, less 30%. Of course, I snagged them. They are ball feet. They've got a flat edge on them already with a pilot hole. Perfect for a tray. And one of these little brushes. These always sell great. Very cute for a display. And then like sticking a little picture in them, a photo, a business card. Always a lot of fun. And this one, obviously they use some red polish with it. So it's got red staining. I thought that would be great for the holidays. I paid a couple bucks. It's up at only 4 dollars 
And this was a, kind of one of my favorite finds too. It is a Lazy Susan, but it's got a handle on it. Now it is listed to be painted. Hey, Jasmine. Um, if you do purchase it though, and you don't want it painted, it's got a nice um, saying on it and a pretty design but I was going to paint it. <laughs> if you purchase it and you don't want it painted, you can email me upcycledbybree at gmail.com. Just let me know you bought it. You don't want me to paint it and I won't. It is $26.95. I paid almost $7 for it. So I did pay up, but everybody loves a great Lazy Susan, right? Um, Okay, so that was everything that I, I thrifted, and I was like, cool, that's going to be a great haul for the week. And then Jessica called me Monday. <laughs> I tried to have some self-control. I think I'm going to come from this way. I tried to have some self-control, but it's hard when it's all free. It helps them get things cleaned out and, of course, helps support my small business so it's a win-win for everybody. And I get to save some really great junk. Okay, bear with me one second. All right, so I already did some crafts. Like I said, I wish I could record every single thing I do, but I can't. <laughs> I got these paper plate baskets, which everybody loves to use for wall decor. Now I needed a little, a couple more pops of black in my kitchen. So I spray painted some of them and I loved them so much that I did more and went ahead and listed them. So I paid oh, around $3 for these listed up at $16.95 for the set of five. I paid $3 because of the spray paint, not because I paid for this stuff. <laughs> But isn't that just gorgeous, the contrast between the black and the natural wood? I think I'm going to start becoming obsessed with painting these. And I just used Rust-Oleum, like matte black. Yeah, Jasmine, isn't it pretty? I've seen them other colors before, but like the black was just like, boom, it just popped. And I have been sneaking in more and more and more pops of black into my decor. I don't know who I am, but that's okay. Oh, she also says, don't forget to share. Thank you, Jasmine. Yes, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Send it out to a friend. Help me win the algorithm battles. Okay, found a ton of thread spools and shared these on the live haul. I told y'all I was going to make them into Christmas tree sets. So I did. And I think, you know, a bunch of people have done these already. But they're so cute. I only used wooden spools and then I tried to kind of curate the sets um, with the colors and everything. So that one is a set of five. Sets of five are $15.95. I'm not gonna show you all of them. There's, I made so many trees this year. Ooh, really close to my face too. <laughs> But those were fun and a super easy craft. Be, they'd be fun with the kids too. Obviously you've got to be careful with the hot glue, but low temp glue gun. I found these vintage Walmart <laughs> um, placemats. I think is what you call these. And there were four of them. So I went ahead and snagged them. They're what we like to call new old stock. They've not been used. They still have the tags on them. And I listed the set of four up at $12.95. They would be great four placemats, but I really think they'd make some fun DIYs too. Tiny milk can, it's rusty, it's $3.95. You know, I can't pass up anything miniature. There were some nasty old um, like flower planter boxes out in the yard that were literally just falling apart. Parts of them were rotted out completely. So I ripped them apart and cut them into decor boards. I haven't made boards for a long time because I haven't really found any cool wood. These two have already sold, um, but they already, this, these were like the sides of the crates and they already had these little metal pieces in them. What are those metal pieces called? I need to learn something new today. 
So those two are already sold, but just great patina. I use a little bit of a DIY decrepit dust along the edge. This one I actually made double-sided. I had a rusty hinge and I used some dark wax on that side. These two, I think, is when I started my live, are still available. They've got some great chippy paint. I can't read my own writing, sorry. Oh, this is number two and it is $18.95. This is decor board number one, it's $24.95. And then on these, I used a DIY old and gray around the fresh cuts and it was perfect with that weathered wood. See, Shelly, on, on these, I didn't even have to add them. They were already there this time which is even better, but I want to know what these little, these little metal joint, I don't know, joiner things are. I could Google it. I just didn't think to. Okay. Moving on with the free stuff. This vintage mirror, let me try not to blind you. It could either be used as a tray, but this one also has a hanger on it still, which is not flimsy. It's, it's nice and sturdy. So you could also hang this one on the wall. I have it up at $22.95. It'll be a little tricky to ship, but I should be able to do it. Maisie's sleeping over there. Can we see her? <laughs> she has her, her head facing the wall. She's over it. <laughs> okay, Jasmine, I will. Thank you. Loved that mirror. Got it all cleaned up. This wood riser. Gorgeous. $19.95 on this one. Handmade by somebody at some point. It's got a great wood color. And I just look at these things and I'm like, how could somebody leave you guys behind? So I gotta save it all. I got to pick the garage, the upstairs, the main floor, and the basement at this house and the yard. And there wasn't a ton of stuff left, but what I got was good. A joint fastener is what Debbie says. Thank you, ma'am. So one little baluster, bolster, I could not find any more, unfortunately, no matter how hard I looked, um, but it's got some great patina to it, really pretty raw wood, and it is $8.95. Hold on one second. Okay. I had to move a couple things before I break something. <laughs> That's always my biggest fear when I have these huge hauls is breaking stuff as I'm showing you. Okay, I found this old vintage notepad holder <laughs> thing. Now it's got some writing on it, which is super cute, but I am going to refresh it, which is in the listing. So I'll sand that down, use a little hemp oil, and then it's missing its Holder, so I'll stick a dowel through there and this then threads underneath this dowel and you can cut it right here so very cute oh and it is $19.95 I'm gonna have to put a little work into that one they wrote on it with a sharpie so that's gonna be fun worst comes to worst I guess I could just uh, paint it okay I found a little bit of fabric while I was there. I'm going to say this one was my favorite. <laughs> Joni says she remembers seeing the um, notepad things at craft fairs back in the day. All right, fabric. This is a really fun flower sack. It's got a great image on it. The War Eagle Mill. So one of the ladies I met in Branson, um, she's got a, she's got a Facebook, it's called Come Home, but she does a lot of cooking videos and whatnot. Left me a comment last night that this is close to her house. So that was a fun coincidence. I love to, love to hear those little stories. It's in Arkansas. That was 10 pounds of flour. I don't find a lot of flower sacks. Dana says she loves my junk and the pink bunt pan. Thank you. $9.95 on the flower sack. 
Then these linens were really cute. They're like little, like little placemats. Um, I guess, I don't know, maybe for like a vanity or something. This little sticker says pure linen, but I loved the purple and the lace. There's one big one and two small ones on this set. And they are $9.95. This one is the rectangles. This is a trio selling us a set of three. Of course, they're not actually a set. And this one has um, some different colors in those two circles. So make note of that. I'm not sure why. Maybe they ran out of their material. And then two smaller ones, but I love the rectangle shapes. They look great under little mini boards for centerpieces. And this trio was $9.95. I don't do a lot of fabric. Um, I don't really resell clothes or anything, but when I find doilies, I do grab them because they sell well for me. Where are the baskets? Oh, these. Okay, so these are super cute. There's two of them. One's missing the handle, but if you're a DIYer, you could totally fix it. It's a basket. Like there's the little bottom of the basket. How cute is that? That would be cute for like a flower girl at a wedding. Couldn't pass them up. There's a, a second one. It just doesn't have a handle, but it's the same shape. This one has a little staining on it. $8.95 for the two because they're not in perfect, perfectly conditioned. Hello, Michelle. How are you, darling? I told you I'd be live today. She was teasing me yesterday and said she was missing my life. I went out and looked at Christmas lights Friday night and had a great time. Um, and I just knew that I wouldn't be ready by 10 a.m. yesterday to go live. <laughs> so I try to be consistent, but my life is just not. Sometime during the weekend, I get it done. <laughs> I made this a trio. They're obviously the set of two, and then I just threw in that random one because I loved the colors so much. So, so much. Vintage napkins, the pops of pink again uh, with Valentine's Day coming up. And spring after that, little pops of pink are great. $6.95 on that napkin trio. And then there's a couple other linen things, but they're not as exciting. Um, okay. Oh, so this. I listed this as a vintage shoe stretcher. Um, because that's what I think one person had commented. And then somebody else told me it was like an accessory for ironing. So... Do y'all know what this is? Let me know. I listed it, like I said, as a shoe stretcher, but I thought it'd just be a fun riser. Piece of wood. Or if you've got a booth, you could display a couple bracelets off of that. Maybe set something else on top. Mm. $12.95 upon my site. All right, we're gonna wait on that stuff for a second. That is not. Oops, not technically from my free haul. These rolling pins, I thrifted a couple of weeks ago, but I finally got them done, so I wanted to show you what I did. When I thrifted these, they didn't have handles on them. They were just the middle section. So all I did was take some dowels and cut them down to size and glued them in and then used some decrepit dust to age them up. And now they really look a lot like the antique rolling pin I have, the authentic one. Um, they are called... I can't remember what they're called. Something rolling pin. <laughs> I don't remember what I call them. If you guys, if you need me to look it up, let me know. I hate to keep jumping off the live chat. Um, but this is A and it's $12.95. And this one is B and it's $9.95. Anyways, how cool are these? I knew I was going to space names and prices today because I, I can't remember 30 things, let alone 100. I found a doll that had a little bit of like red, reddish staining on it. I'm obsessed. Anyways, I was gonna try to use like spindles to make the handles, which have been a really cool idea too. So if y'all wanna try that, go for it. Let me know if you do. Uh, but I didn't have any spindles that were small enough that looked that looked good. Okay, moving on. I've got a lot more stuff still. <laughs> 49 minutes, yeah, we're gonna go over an hour. If you can't stay the whole time, I get it. I got two more boxes of junk. Okay, so I found a huge ladder. 
I couldn't uh, bring it all inside. It was too much. I have half of that ladder listed locally for a blanket ladder, but I was able to cut the other ladder halves, like the back halves up this morning, and I have a really great idea for them. So that'll be on this week's video, a video this week. Anyways, this is what the ladder looked like with all of its beautiful chippy paint and patina. So I grabbed that ladder. I'm already doing some stuff with it. I couldn't quite get it all done in time. There's a tease. Like you just can't replicate that. It was already chipped off like that. This broke in half, so I'm gluing it together. Like that was already chipped off, but you just can't look at all of those layers of paint. <laughs> Cannot replicate that. All right, so also inside, when I was upstairs, I found there were a ton of bunnies. I limited myself to just one really, really great one. Um, it's up at $22.95 and it was made by Mary in 1979. And I loved it because it's got the pink eyeballs. It does have a little chip here on the chest, which I listed um, on the listing, but she's so pretty. And it's got a big old ears. Again, spring, pink. I know it seems early. Random birdhouses I found. This one was actually from some kind of craft show or place at one point called the Quilt Shop. Um, and it's a curtain holder. So people mounted these up on their, wa or their walls and stuck curtain rods through them. <laughs> very 90s, but now it's very cute for decor. It's got a hole here if you wanted to hang it, um, but otherwise just sitting around. And it's got a hole through the side so you could like lay some greenery out of it. Super cute. $6.95 and $2.95. I love to list these little things that people made by hand so they can live on. But also, if you don't have a huge budget after Black Friday shopping and you want to pick up just a couple cute little things, I like to have the smalls available. Okay, one of my favorites. This was in the basement. It was in the original box, but the original box was just, I, I couldn't. It wasn't worth saving, I promise. Usually I try to save the boxes, but it wasn't. It was falling apart and taped up. And as I tried to take a little bit of the tape off, it just... <laughs> All right, Jasmine, I'll see you later, hun. Okay, bingo cards. There's a ton. I didn't count them. The bingo markers and the call out, like numbers, letters, whatever, letter numbers. So if y'all really wanted to play bingo, you could, but I think these are just great and vignettes for decor. Obviously, these little pieces would look good in jars, maybe in a bowl. Couldn't let those go to waste. Um, I think they are $14.95, if I remember correctly. Found a little bird cage. It's got the grapes. $6.95 on that, baby. metal bird cage, couldn't pass it up. And then this one also opens. So you could put a cute little like terracotta pot in there with a plant. And again, when things like that don't sell, then I usually pull them back, restage them, add some floral, and they go a lot quicker. Um, these are probably already sold. There were several people that wanted me to list them. Great set of vintage measuring cups. I listed up at $9.95. One, two, three. Four, there's five of them. And this funnel, I believe was $2.95. These were actually out in the garage. Handmade candlestick. This is a good one from Ozaki, Kansas. And it can hold a taper or a pillar. I have it up at $14.95. So y'all let me know. If you're a reseller, do you guys take free junk? I know some resellers do and some resellers don't. This was a lot of work. <laughs> so I only try to take as much as I can process in about a week, a week and a half. I did this Monday and now it's Sunday. I've got mostly everything done, a couple DIYs to finish up, but everything's listed up on my site, ready to go. And I try to keep it like that for discipline. That way I don't hoard up my garage or just get overwhelmed. There was a point where I was taking too much free stuff and I didn't have enough room to shop, room or time to shop. And it wasn't, it wasn't as much fun because I love the thrill of the hunt and the shop. Okay, these were outside on the fence. 
I pulled them down, I cleaned them up really well, and then I sprayed them with a rust stopping um, clear rust oleum spray. Butterflies, rust, beautiful colors. They were mine. I had to unscrew them. So it looks like they used to be like red and yellow. They have definitely faded over time, but they still have some life left in them for sure. They would be pretty even um, inside. Like if you just wanted to mount them to a piece of wood or screw them into the wall. $14.95 for the set of three. Stephanie says she's not a junker, but she'll take free stuff any day. Yeah, even if you're not a reseller, let me know. Free stuff is free stuff no matter who you are. These were really cool. I found some vintage ice skates um, thrifting a couple of weeks ago. They sold off, but these are actually like antique, antique. I have them up at $44.95 and they are like clamp on vintage ice skates. There's a little screw here where you would adjust it and you would just clamp them on, I'm imagining, to your boot which seems ridiculously unsafe. <laughs> There's some straps here. Woo! Crazy, crazy times. Um, these would be so cute, hung off of a little sled in a Christmas vignette or uh, by a fireplace mantle. Loved them. They were disgusting. They were covered in like oil and um, sawdust and uh, <laughs> So I cleaned them up really good. Actually, used I used Dawn Power Wash on them and then put them in front of a fan to dry. But I couldn't let them um, be thrown away. Lost forever. All right, another book stack. This one is the Teal and Blue book stack. It's up at $12.95. Great spring colors. And some really good heavy solid books. Make great risers in your decor. Oh, another thing here. These people were asking me to list. Um, so my friend Julie did a DIY a while back where she used like a spindle and a wood round and a cool old um, thread spool. And then she stuck some of the like vintage scissors in them. So I found a whole bag of vintage scissors. I listed them up individually at $2.95 each and they're just gonna be picked at random. But those were in the basement by the thread. And then there were these, which are really fun. These are $8.95 for the set of three. But these two had some really cool patina on them. And these are collapsible. I swear if I just had one more hand. How does it work there? <laughs> do, 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 do. So those are a fun three set, set of three for $8.95. What else could you do with these? How else would you DIY them? Because if they don't sell, I'm gonna need ideas. Got 61 people watching now. Thank y'all for joining me. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the thrift haul collection again in case you are just hopping on. Let me get back to the beginning here. Got a little bit more to go. And then, um, I'm going to try to hop on Facebook later today and do a couple DIYs with y'all. I also need to go to the grocery store, so we'll see if that happens. It needs to happen. I'll make it happen. <laughs> yeah, I grabbed four in the worship. That's, you know it. I like the decrepit stuff. Um, oh, I already showed those. Okay, this apothecary jar, I stuck some bottle brush trees in it, and I'm going to sell it with the trees in it. Um, I just thought that was a really cute Christmas display. It's $16.95. You get everything. Uh, Stephanie, I'm not going to commit to a time. I'll try to give y'all a couple hours heads up. I need to eat some lunch, but I got to go to the store first, so it's going to be later. What is it, 11? Let's say 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll go live on Facebook and do something. <laughs> so anyways, I haven't seen this uh, apothecary jar with the bottle brush tree. Have y'all seen that before? If so, I can give them credit. Bunch of old tools out of the garage. These two scrapers are a pair at 8.95. 
sold some ice picks about a week ago, so I grabbed some more. This one's actually a file, I think. $6.95 for that set of two. Again, I just use those like up in my vignettes. Y'all can actually see up above my um, shelves today, but I've got a ton of rusty old tools just sitting up there. This is some new old stock spoons. This trio is $4.95 and they're all different sizes. So those would be perfect to set in a crock and they will be staggered, <laughs> staggered heights. I usually um, try to pick the antique looking ones, but I'm not gonna pass them up. More hammers. So I've got a lot of hammers listed up on my site now. Um, they're not selling super well yet, but they're up there if this is your jam. Again, in a man cave, these would be super cool. Super cool. $14.95. And this is hammer set B. This little net, loved it. Man cave item, $3.95. Um, down in the basement by the games was this adorable chalkboard. Couldn't think of the name for a second. $6.95 and it's got crayon and chalk and stuff all over it, but it had some good advertising. So I went ahead and grabbed it. You could clean it if you wanted to. You could throw some vinyl on it. First time I've ever seen a croc shot glass. This is the Platte Valley Corn Shooter. <laughs> and I have it listed up at $4.95. But also again, what do I do with the plant? This little guy would just make like the cutest little plant holder. Anything mini, I'm definitely going to get it. Okay, we're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. Um, so what I have in this box, I'll just show you since it's up here. While I was out working and cutting down the boards and stuff, you know, I'd have to work smart. So I was out there waiting on, on things to dry, wood glue and whatnot. And I went ahead and salvaged a lamp um, because it didn't work and it was time. But it's got some really amazing brass pieces. And I went ahead and loaded these up to my site because they are very unique. And I know y'all can't usually find things like this. So this base is $29.95. It does have a hole in the middle of it. So if you wanted to turn it into a Christmas tree base, it would be perfect, um, but it's also flat. You could um, screw a wood round on the top of it up through the bottom. Great, great, great piece of salvage. $39.95 and it's gonna be tricky to ship, so that's a good deal, I know. <laughs> I'm thinking I should have gone up $10 on that one. Too late now. $14.95 on this piece. This was on the post part of the lamp. It does have a hole all the way through it as well but this would just be pretty sitting up in a vignette. $14.95 on this. You could paint these and wet distress them too if the brass isn't your thing and they'd look really pretty because of all their ornate detail. And then there's the finial top and it's $8.95. It does have this screw on finial piece here and a hole in the bottom. So some of my favorite things to do now are to salvage down these old pieces of wood and metal and load them up, even though I want to keep everything for projects, load them up so y'all have a chance to make things too. Okay, when I was outside making my very last walkthrough, I noticed this screwed to the side of the house and knew that it had to come with me. Couldn't be left behind. So it does have some good rust patina on it, a couple of deer with a bell, and that bell has a great knocker on it still two holes to mount it, and I have it up at $54.95. I looked some of these old cast iron bells up on eBay and they are ridiculous. Um, I couldn't believe it, but y'all always love the deer. So I did take it down, I had to unscrew it. I went and grabbed an old screwdriver from the garage and it came home with me. Oops, sorry, I was trying not to do that. It's heavy. <laughs> If anybody wants to see it closer, let me know, but it's heavy. So that was from outside. Okay, and then a couple more outdoor items. I salvaged a wreath. <laughs> it has some really gross old floral on it, but it is a handmade grapevine, and it is a really fun, awkward, weird shape. So I kept it. $8.95, I got all the nasty old hot glue off of it. 
now I did. <laughs> and it would be a really good O on a huge um, porch sign, like a home or wel welcome, I guess. People usually put something on the O and welcome. I think it's on home signs. <laughs> Y'all, I didn't have coffee before this live. I thought about it and then I was out. So 100 item haul, no coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a really delicious one after this. Okay, these two stools I showed on my live and they were disgusting, <laughs> covered in spiders and nastiness. I cleaned them up really well. Now, I did not attempt to take the staining out of the fabric or anything because it's gorgeous, but they are clean, they are bug free, um, and they are $19.95 each. I actually have one here in my living room because I have a tiny living room. When I have my coffee in the morning, I throw my feet up on it. And then when I'm done, I can just fold it up and slide it in between the couch. Um, and they, they hold me. I'm about 140 pounds right now. I can sit on these. I did a little, little wiggling and they held my weight. Um, but they would be great for decor too, sitting on your porch. If you, if you, ooh, you could take a flat piece of wood across them and you could even put like a planter or something on them. Because if you put a bunch of weight in the middle, they kind of fold. But those were just too cute. She was carrying them out to the curb and I was like, no ma'am. No ma'am, those could go in the back of my van. <laughs> but I love them. I almost tried to sell them as a set of three and then I decided I really had to keep mine because I use it. This little brass up planter was outside with some great tarnish at $12.95 on it. And then this I squealed over and I'm thinking I should probably keep it for my kitchen since I'm adding pops of black. But it is a great enamel tray. Somebody tur tur told me it's for turkeys. Excuse me. <laughs> Somebody told me it's for turkeys. Roasting turkeys. I don't know. I've never seen one this shape with the handles. But I have it up at $19.95. And I was thinking with the um, ball feet, where'd they go? I don't know. They're long gone. But those round ball feet I got, if this doesn't sell as is, I'll probably add it to this tray. All right, y'all are quiet today. We do have 60 people on, thank y'all. I found two more saws, they are $19.95 each. Not the same size, one's a little taller than the other. I still wanted to do the saw Christmas tree thing Maybe next year I'll find the perfect set. This one has something on it. H, Disson and Sons, Flotta? I don't know, I can't really make it out. <laughs> but it's got some really fun carvings on it. And then I've seen these vintage saws with scenes painted on them, hand painted scenes. I've seen people stencil them this way and hang them. Um, I've used some IOD transfers on them. Oh. Marty's busy looking at the website. That's why she's not chatting. Girl, you go. I'll talk to myself all day. <laughs> okay, another one of my favorite finds. This was in the basement. I'm going to have a lot of favorites when there's 100 things. This was in the basement. I looked it up. It is an antique food mill. Um, they said it's great for making baby food or like applesauce. Look at this. Look at this patina. $34.95 is what I have it listed as. I looked them up on eBay and they were close to $80. But it's super light. It's aluminum, so it's going to be really easy to ship. And I figured I could do this in the box. $80 seemed ridiculous. But I love this. I mean, I, I, I don't think I would use it for food. If you want to, that's on you. Um, but I would use it for decor. <laughs> Has anybody used one of these in the past? Let me know. And what'd you make? All right, a few baskets. We are almost done. I didn't do too bad. Yeah, not too bad. A couple of baskets. This is a small gathering basket. It's up at $12.95. Great cottage color. That nice warm wood tone, but not orange. And it's got some cute little um, details right there, holding the handle together. I did not take all the baskets. There were a ton, but I grabbed a few special ones. And this is the flower basket 
bowl, I believe is what I called it. I have it up at $12.95. It does have just a couple little tiny breaks on it. How pretty would this be with your fruit or a flower arrangement? It's got the cute little handles and it's in good shape. And if y'all want to know sizes on things, I do put that in the description on my listings. I just dropped the haul for you again. If you're just hopping on, and if you are just hopping on, be sure to catch the replay because there's lots of the junk. Okay, so we had a pink bug pan earlier, and I saw this vintage pink. Is this angel food cake? Is this still a bunt pan? I'm not a baker, but it had the vintage pink, so I grabbed it. $12.95 and a silver bun pan up at $10.95. It's got black on the inside. I always grab bun pans when I see them, especially for free. <laughs> then two chicken wire baskets. This one is really unique. It's up at $9.95. It's got the galvanized at the bottom, the chicken wire, then the wicker, and then ceramic handles. I was like, that's a lot, but I actually really like it. $9.95 here, and then this one is a little older, a little rustier with a leaf, and it's up at $14.95, but look at that handle. This would be a great like egg gathering basket. Cool, that takes care of that box. Okay, last thing from my free haul, the free estate clean out is this adorable folding table. I cleaned it up really well too because it was gross as well. It is up at $29.95. But again, if you have, I, I actually used it for my coffee this morning. If you have a small living room, you can pull it apart and it folds down. All handmade, vintage, great condition, and a beautiful, beautiful wood tone. So I thought because it was so easy to ship and fold down like that, $29.95 would be a great price for it. If it didn't fold, I'd have to charge probably twice as much because of shipping. <laughs> okay, I've got a couple more things, three more things to show you that I actually just purged out of my personal Christmas collection when I did my porch decorating the other day. And that'll be on my video, my Christmas tour video. So this is a nativity scene. It's the full scene. It's got um, baby Jesus, Mary, Joseph. It's got three kings a shepherd, an angel, a camel, a donkey, a cow, and a sheep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve piece set. That was the like original styrofoam and I thrifted this several years ago, painted it DIY farm fresh and white waxed. The only reason I'm getting rid of it is because I am phasing out some of the teal and phasing in more of like this olivey green. Um, and I know people love this teal color, and I do too. It just doesn't match now. Oh, Marty said she didn't buy it, but it's sold. Okay, well, I'll quit going on and on about it. Um, oh, oh, the sticker's still on it. I paid $3.99 at Goodwill years ago, and I think I had it listed at around $40. Um, again, not too hard for me to ship because it's got the original styrofoam. So when y'all are thrifting and you see old ceramic pieces and you're like, ugh, I don't really like the... Um, the, the coloring of it or the paint job or whatever, paint them, wax them, you're good to go. And nativity scenes are always great sellers for me. Make sure that's not gonna fall and break now that it's sold. <laughs> okay, and then this guy I'm gonna go ahead and part with because I just don't have room. I loved it and used it for a couple of years. Farm Fresh Christmas trees, huge galvanized container. Um, it would be really good to put a Christmas tree in. Stephanie says Farm Fresh is her color. Girl, I love me some Farm Fresh. And oh, this one was hard. I'm getting rid of my teal truck. I don't know why. I probably shouldn't. In fact, I don't usually see them with the wooden beds like this. I just, I don't know. The truck thing, I, I love it. I do love truck decor, and I love old vintage teal trucks. In fact, I've got one right here even. But how much to ship that, Bell? Um, Stephanie, if you want to purchase it or you're interested to know the shipping cost, just go ahead and act like you're going to go check out, and it'll tell you at the very end um, 
if it's forty dollars, I, I imagine it's probably around fifteen dollars to ship, something like that. She said, "Keep the truck." I know it's not old though. I want to find a vintage one, like a vintage toy truck. Um, that has some great old chippy paint. And if I keep everything, then I don't have a budget to shop for myself. You know what I mean? I've had it for a couple years and I do love it. It's even got the little wheel down in there. And I can't remember. I think I got it from Dylan's grocery store, like the Kroger. I really don't remember. But I'm partying with it. I just, I have too much in this tiny house. Ta-da! So all of that stuff I took, I loaded over, goodness, three or four days. It wasn't too bad. There was one day where I loaded up a, a bunch, like 70, you know, maybe like 70 things in one day and then split the other 30, 40 things between a couple of other days. So it wasn't so bad, but I processed that whole estate clean out in a week. I'm very proud of myself. Oh, uh, use a hammer on it. Stephanie said beat it up. Use a hammer on it. I could. I thought about resting it out. If it doesn't sell in a couple days, maybe I will keep it and rest it out and do a DIY or something. I like it. I could beat it up. I don't know. We'll see. I can't keep it all. But usually when I second guess something this much, I should usually just keep it. It's fine. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for hopping on and doing this goodness. Mm, hour and 15 minute haul with me. I know that was a lot of stuff. I'm going to hop on Facebook today, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, and do some kind of live project. I haven't got to craft for a few days, so I'm like itching to make something. Um, and then this week on YouTube will be all DIYs. Um, I'll do a couple live DIYs here on YouTube this week, and I'm going to get my Christmas tour up. Now that I have closed down my booth, expect a lot more content here on YouTube, over on Facebook. If you don't follow me yet on Instagram and TikTok and Pinterest, I'm there as well. Again, everything you saw today is listed on my site, upcycledbybree.com, in the Shop the Hall collection. That is down in the description box below. If you're catching the replay and you're watching the live chat, I dropped it several times there as well. Please give me a thumbs up. Send this video out to a friend. If you haven't yet, subscribe and hit that bell next to the subscribe button. Hit that bell to all and YouTube will let you know every time I upload. So I think that is all of the important stuff. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. I hope to see you at Facebook, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Bye, friends.